YouTube, it's Joanna Delilah. I brought a friend along with me today. You mm -hmm. might recognise him. I'm basically I'm trying to drum up a little bit of support for him for his channel. Um, if we can get him some views, his name's Pink Stylist. I'll put the link in the <laughs> box. <laughs> so if you've not heard of him, obviously you have. But if there's one person watching this video that has not heard of Pink Stylist, you need to sort that out and go and look at his channel. Um, but yes, so he very kindly volunteered to model for me to paint this beautiful, infected, pus-filled blister look. Um, so what a good spot. I used my uh, Matteo Arfanotti little mini book that I got from Paintopia as a guideline. And if you want to see how I did it, stay tuned and I'll show you now. So using the same products as Matteo uses in, in his book, I'm using the Flesh Tone palette from Chameleon and two reds which are Fire Red and Blood Rain. So just those products and the Chameleon brush and let's get started. Not too much pressure, I'm trying to copy a face paint from literally one of the world's best painters onto Charlie Short. That's a little bit intimidating, that's all right. I can do it, let's just be confident. <laughs> so, step one. Right, okay, let's just basically draw loads of circles on you. One. Step two, which is basically adding, looks like some bits of red and blending the edges of some of those blisters. Using a damp brush with just no paint on it, just a little bit of water. I'm going to blend the two paints together. Now I'm going to do step three, which looks quite similar, but I think what step three is, is adding um, some highlights to the blisters. Um, and again, further blending of things. So I'm going to do that now. four which is where it just goes from this to hopefully something completely awesome like this excuse the shine of the lights on there hope you can see okay so what I'm going to do now is switch to a finer brush and I'm going to go around all those boils and blisters with the darker red and the darker browns just made darker outlines around everything and now I'm just going to clean off my brush and blend everything again with some water. And I think the trick is to spend a little bit of time on each little blister just going around the different shades of brown so you've got your white in the middle then your lighter flesh tone then like a medium brown and then finally your dark brown just sparingly around the edges and then probably to finish off I'll add a little bit more white just to give them the real 3D effect and you don't want it to blend too much um, because it is as a face painted look, so we're not going for hyper sort of realistic special effects. Is it frustrating sat in the chair? Like I, I fidget. To, yeah, it's I hard, fidget isn't it? I find it hard to model. Okay, so I finished painting in all my little blisters, and then in the finished look, if you can see on the page, yeah. 
Um, it's finished off with just some highlights like in and around the skin to make it appear like the skin's kind of broken and shiny. So I'm going to add that now. And then using the dark red, I'm just going to add some tiny little thread veins and little sort of um, spots here and there. watching I hope you enjoyed this video I must admit the more I look at it I don't know if I did Matteo justice on this one I found this the most challenging actually of all of them um, even so I'm quite pleased with it it's a pretty cool face painting look that you could do on your kids for Halloween or whatever else you may want to do um, and let's face it I got to paint pink stylist face with a world championship artist design so it's all right for a day's work in it um please do uh subscribe follow me on instagram sit outside my house whatever you want to do and i'll be back soon with another video bye bye <laughs> i'll say hello from go on uh, <laughs> <laughs> bye